Good afternoon everyone, this is Blair Barnhart with the Barnhart Group and caught up here with Andrew Barnhart and Drew Brumfeld with the crew at the Barnhart Group doing the in-depth micropaper pavement evaluation. We're out here in Cobb County today. Can you guys get a little bit closer together? It's, uh, it's going to be a little bit loud out here today. This is one of the busiest intersections in Cobb County, Georgia. We're down here in the southeast on Mother's Day. Nothing better to do on Mother's Day than to look at corrugation. I wanted to get out here at the right time with the sun going down and uh, while everyone's back getting ready for dessert we thought we'd slip out here and get some of these shadows cast on the corrugation. Um, Andrew or Drew, why don't you just let's head this up here and walk us through for the students and the agencies. What are you going to what are you going to take uh, away from this when you entered into the computer? Uh, what we're going to take away from this one Blair is uh, basic corrugation number five in our micro paper distress evaluation manual. Okay. Um, if you want to zoom in right here you can see the description of corrugation along with the severity levels. Also on the other side you can see a great uh, visual image of the different severity levels oh, of okay. corrugation. Well this one's looking a lot like that high severity there. My goodness, if, if we can let traffic go down a little bit here and get out on the roadway and uh, again we didn't think to get the safety vests and normally as you've seen the other YouTube videos we always have our safety vests so we we let the oncoming public know what we're doing. But let's go out and look at this first bump here, guys. Uh, keep an eye on the traffic. Now this is coming into the uh, stop bar area, and one thing I noticed right away was they couldn't even paint the line stripe right because of the corrugation was so high through here. Um, what do you have there, Andrew? Uh, if you zoom in here, Blair, you can clearly see that we've got about an inch okay. and a half to an inch and three quarters. Um, what that's going to mean is we can tell by when we're coming in, we're going to have a very poor ride quality, which is going to tell us that this is a high severity okay. corrugation. And just by looking up the street here, we can clearly tell that there's different sizes of ruts and bumps, Okay. Um, which is a major contributor towards corrugation. And everything is running transverse to the line of traffic, is that correct, Andrew? Correct. Okay. Let's come up here a little bit more where this car is coming through here. Uh, Drew, why don't you go up there with the eight-foot straight edge and run it up into one of those areas that are severely corrugated. And it's difficult for the viewers back home to see this. I'm going to try to lay down here a little lower. And maybe you'll get a clear depiction of what's going on as the sun goes down. Um, if you can see those shadows where the fellas are at, I think they're into a two or three inch rut right there. Well, it's actually corrugation. It's transverse rutting, if you will. But clearly, the traffic has come up here and started to shove the asphalt back and forth. And although we don't have our temperature gun handy, I can tell you the pavement temperature where I'm sitting is about 110 right now. Uh, we're getting into May now in the middle of uh, the, the hot season coming on in Georgia. What have you got there, Andrew? Uh, I've got nearly the same measurement, about an inch and three quarters, just like back there, so we can tell that it's uh, very consistent coming down here. Okay. And how we're going to measure corrugation is going to be in uh, square feet, so we're going to have Drew wheel this off the okay. whole way up for our first sample section. Okay. And then we'll be able to tell you when we put it into micro paper. Well, and I guess, Andrew, you could have an area of low severity. Correct. As well as the medium severity, as well as high severity. Absolutely. So when we're looking up here and we feel it on the way in with the ride quality. Okay. Um, now that we've measured two separate areas about 200 feet apart, we can certainly see that it's consistent. So we'll just go ahead and put this whole square footage in as high severity. Okay. So Drew's getting a, a width right now. And I guess for the purpose of this, Drew, it's pretty much the full lane, is it? The full drive it lane? It is. It is. I mean, we're looking at about 100 feet times uh, the width of about 10 feet. So, okay. I mean, we're, you know, roughly about a thousand feet of high severity corrugation right here. Okay. Um, so, let's take a one more look at this before we close out for the day. You know we try to keep these videos quite short wherever possible. Very busy traveled intersection. The sun's just going down here. And if, if you were here standing with us, you would see the shadows a little bit better. Hopefully, though, you'll get some uh, idea of the severity of the corrugation from the, vil the film today. Great. Uh, Drew, Andrew, thank you for joining us today. Any thoughts, closing thoughts for the uh, listening public, the students and the agencies? Uh, we'd just like you, if you need any more information pertaining to Micropaver and any other services we provide here at the Barnhart Group, please go to our website, www.thebarnhartgroup.com. Great. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Thank you.
Let's go back and get some apple pie.